Morning, Mama. Good morning, Reese. Your breakfast is ready. Thanks. Look, I know you'll be leaving for work soon, and uh, I just think there's something you should know before you go, you know, in case it comes up at the Crane Mansion. If you're talking about your date last night with Sheridan Crane, it's already come up. <laughs> what do you mean? Did, did Julian say something about it? No. But I overheard him on the phone with Sheridan's father, Alistair, and he was in a rage about it. And I have to tell you, Luis, I'm not too happy about it myself. You know, I don't get it, Mama. You know, for years, you've been saying what a decent person Sheridan is. And now you don't want me to see her? I want you to be friends. Anything more serious will be trouble, Luis. Trouble? You mean Julian? Yes. He sees you as a threat to the family. And you know how crazy he got when he saw you and Sheridan kissing. Well, you know what? That's Julian's problem, not mine. Don't underestimate him or his father, Luis. You're the housekeeper's son. You've had run-ins with them. You've threatened to bring them down. You all but accused them of arranging your father's disappearance and his murder. Yeah, but that was when we thought that the man who died was my father. It doesn't matter. You made the accusation. They will never forget it. Nor will they forgive it. And what about Sheridan's feelings? I know. It's not going to be easy for her to keep seeing me. It's probably going to take some heat for it, too. They will do whatever they have to do to prevent an alliance between you and Sheridan. I know. They've already tried to bribe me to keep us apart. What do you mean? Well, Julian came up with a grant that would have sent me to the FBI training facility in Virginia. I didn't accept it. You didn't accept it? No. Yeah, but now that I think of it, I probably should have. You know, the training would have made my move to detective a lot easier, and the extra money would have made your life a lot easier. Never mind that. You made the right decision. But please, just don't think this is the end of it. They will continue to try to convince you, Luis. I know. But I'll be on my guard. Is Teresa still sleeping? She should be up by now. Luis, there's another reason I'm concerned that you're seeing Sheridan. What other reason? Your best friend, Hank. I know that he's been dating Sheridan. How does he feel about you taking her out? Well, he's not happy that she and I went out. But you know how cocky Hank is. I mean, he's convinced that she'll never choose me over him. Thinks we're like oil and water. We can get along for one dinner. That's it. Oh, you felt the same way just a short time ago. <laughs> well, obviously, I've changed my mind. You know, Sheridan... Sheridan and I have a lot more in common than I thought. Well, if you take away the crane money and power. That's a very big if. <laughs> Look, Mommy, you've known Sheridan a lot longer than I have. You know that she's not impressed by the crane's wealth. That's true, but I also know that you're not the kind of man who could live off his wife's fortune. <laughs> a wife? Look, we went out to one dinner. That's all. It's not like we're walking down the aisle tomorrow. Now, who knows what the future will hold? What's wrong? Teresa's wearing an engagement ring. Dios mío, Teresa, what have you done? I who gave you this ring. I want the truth, and I want it now. Answer me, Teresa. Who gave you this ring? Uh, nobody. I... Don't lie to me. Is this an engagement ring or not? It, it could be an engagement ring, but I'm not even engaged. I well, mean, I'm not even dating anyone. Then who gave you this rock? Well, it's just, I, am. Um... Oh, I got it. It's a fake, right? A fake? Yeah, you know, junk jewelry. <laughs> Nobody in this town could afford a ring like that. Except one of the cranes, right? <laughs> well, they make pretty great fakes today, don't they? Yeah, yes they do. <laughs> Fooled me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. I gotta go down to the youth center, so I'll see you guys later. Hey, you get ready for school. See you later, Bye. Sunshine.
Now you can tell me the truth. Where did you get this ring? I know it's real, and I have a feeling it's the ring that Ethan bought for Gwen. What is it doing on your finger, Teresa? And don't tell me Ethan proposed. You think he did, don't you, Mama? Oh, even you're beginning to believe that the impossible can happen. <sighs> Teresa, no, I don't think the impossible can happen. Now, why is this ring on your finger? Ethan asked me to go with him to pick out an engagement ring for Gwen. Well, then he asked me to put it on to see if he really liked it. And it wouldn't come off. It wouldn't come off? No, it, it stuck, Mama. We tried everything, even vegetable oil, and it, it won't budge. Fate is telling me that I am the one who's supposed to be wearing it. Don't be ridiculous. Let me see. <laughs> you see, Mama? It won't come off. Even the jeweler suggested we cut it off, but I told Ethan it would be bad luck. So he let me keep it. Ethan let you keep Gwen's engagement ring? Well, at least until it comes off. But, Mama, it's not coming off. <sighs> Teresa, this is very bad. I, you can't go to the Crane Mansion wearing this ring. But I'm working for Mrs. Crane today. Well, she's going away on a ski trip. I know, but she left work for me. Teresa, Gwen could be there. And if she sees this ring, what do you suppose she'll think? I don't know. All I know is that Fate put this ring on my finger, and fate is keeping it on. If Gwen sees this ring, she'll kill you, and that will be your fate. <laughs>